Well, in the all-time history of worst campaign pitches, Joe Biden, I, I'd love to say this is the worst I've ever seen, but honestly, now that I give it some thought, he probably owns like the top five. I mean, the guy is just not very good at this. We've had this conversation a million times. Joe Biden is not a prime timer. Joe Biden is never going to be president. Joe Biden was never a prime timer. He was a just backbench senator nobody had ever heard of from Delaware. As anonymous as a United States senator could be, that's how anonymous Joe Biden was. Until Barack Obama needed somebody old, white, and had a lot of foreign policy experience, so he picked Joe Biden to balance out his ticket. Then he lounges as the VP for eight years, and now everybody think he magically morphs into this superstar. The Joe Biden you see today, that's not old age. Joe Biden, he sucks. He's not very good at campaigning. He's never been very good at campaigning. The only time I've ever seen him do anything of significance on the national stage is when he gave Paul Ryan a wedgie during that vice president debate during the disastrous Mitt Romney presidential run. So in Joe Biden's latest and greatest campaign highlights, here's his pitch to get you excited and go out and vote for Joe. If anything changed in my health, making it incapable for me to fully exert all the energy and mental acuity that was needed to be done, then I give you my word, I would not run again. First of all, that's not an exciting pitch. Let me give you youngins some advice if you're ever thinking about running for office out there, and you should. We need good people running for office. Don't ever say that, ever. Uh, if, if something happens to me and I can't do it, I'll just resign. One, you're probably gonna forget about that. Two, politicians lie about that stuff all the time. And three, nobody, nobody willingly gives up power, definitely not egomaniacal politicians who should be lounging on a beach somewhere and instead they're running for president. You're only running for president if you're Joe Biden, if you have a narcissistic personality disorder, just like everyone else running for United States president. That's what you are. So you're telling me someone's supposed to believe that you're going to walk into the White House, you are going to be the most powerful man on planet Earth for four years, and then because a couple people think you're not quite with it, you're going to go, you know what? You're right. That's it for me. Oh, that's a bunch of crap. No, he's not. He's not going to leave. Once you get him out in there, you can't ever get him out. Why do you think we have these senators and congressmen that have been there for 30, 40 years, and they're popping Alzheimer drugs right before they run to the House floor to vote on bills that affect your life? That make you feel good? Yeah, I didn't just make that up. That's actually real. And let me tell you, people, those are the stories I'm allowed to tell you about. The stories behind the scene, they're a lot worse than you can imagine. Don't let these people run your life. Trust nobody, shrink the government. Here's Joe Biden's plan for illegal immigration. This should go over well with middle America. By the way, nobody, and some of you are gonna get mad at me with this, but nobody is going to be deported in my first 100 days until we get through the point that we find out the only rationale for deportation will be whether or not, whether or not you've committed a felony while in the country. We're not going to deport people anymore. It's a crime. to. This is why the Democrat Party is out of power. This is why they're going to stay out of power unless they remain sane. People, or unless, they, unless they change and become sane. You cannot open your border. Your border is sacred. I don't care what the situation is to the south of you. You are a nation, a unique nation, even if you're like the Democrat Party and hate the United States of America. No country can possibly survive if you just throw open the borders and invite everybody into the country. And you certainly can't do what Joe Biden just did and send a signal on national television to everybody who wants to come here illegally that, hey, if Joe gets elected, I better just sneak on in and then I'm not going to get deported. It's like slapping a gigantic open for business sign on the southern border. You can't do that. These people are bonkers. Again, let me circle back to something I've told you before. Even the worst Bolshevik commie scumbags in the history of mankind were not open borders because your country can't survive if you are open borders. Nobody in the history of mankind that I have been able to find as far as a major political party goes has openly campaigned on throwing open the borders of their own nation. Nobody. It doesn't happen except for the modern day American left. I tell you what, but they only have themselves to blame. 
Hey, thanks so much for watching the first on YouTube. If you liked what you saw, go ahead and like and subscribe. You heard me, like it, subscribe. You'll get a lot more of it and a lot more of me.